banger, but that's going to do it for myself and Jay as we toss it down to the main stage. It is Mr. Kismet there for an interview. All right, thank you very much, Lando. Yes, joining me on stage here, Kismet. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a great series, a bit of a tune-up. Let's dive into the hard point first. It came a little bit closer than some people were expecting. Was there anything that caught you by surprise in that hard point? Um, nothing like crazy. I just think like at the end of the day, those guys are still good players. Uh, they uh -huh. were just shooting back, and it's it's something that it, Call of Duty that's that's normal. It happens. Um, I'm just proud of the guys on like showing the resilience whenever they did. You know, a team that we didn't think that. Yeah, it's great, and they just come out and the shooting back like we actually, you know, answer, and it's good. So yeah, well, it's it's a good test, especially considering you've got a long loser bracket run. Let's talk about yesterday's game though, because obviously we didn't catch up with you then. Yeah. Uh, a loss yesterday. What were the feelings like in the camp after? How have you kind of reset that mindset for today? Uh, hotel control is a nightmare. No, I'm kidding. We still <laughs> like that. Um, but honestly, I mean, the biggest thing was search. Uh, we felt that map two was really good yesterday. Map yeah. five was unfortunate. And I was talking to the guys. I was like, bro. I feel so like on a leash right now. Like I want to uh -huh. just like go. Like if, if I make a wrong play, it happens. It is what it is. But like I just want to chow. And like today, obviously, like it's a different team. But like I was just chowing everything I could. Any info I got, I was going. And like I think that was the biggest thing for us today. So. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's talk about that then, because you guys have had uh, a little bit of a roller coaster season, right? It's not yeah. been the performances you want all the time, but we are now on that last leg. That last chapter is yet to be written. What have you and the team been working on specifically on this final run? Uh, the big thing is just consistency. I uh -huh. think a lot of times people talk about our team, we're like, we don't know what New York we're going to get. If they're going to be this New yeah. York, they're great. If they're this New York, we don't know. So our biggest thing is just consistency, and, and that just all starts with the comms, the game plan, and just trusting everything that we talk about in the back and when we come out here just doing the same thing and I think we've bought into it a lot so that's that's our biggest thing just consistency all right I love that a little bit of consistency on the main stage all right thank you please Toronto give it up for kiss me to the New York subliners been a wonderful game and we will see you more in this tournament we're gonna hand it back now over to the desks to break this one down thank you and